Mauritius, France, January 15, 2024. A tropical cyclone caused major flooding in Mauritius on Monday as cars were swept away by surging waters in the Indian Ocean Islands capital and elsewhere. The government also imposed a curfew. The government issued an order that everyone except emergency and health workers, members of the security services and those requiring medical care, should return home and remain there. Several people were also evacuated because flooding caused by tropical cyclone Bella threatened homes and other buildings. Schools were closed and hospitals were told to only open emergency departments. The main airport was closed and flights in and out of the island nation of 1.2 million people were cancelled until further notice. The government said, <laughs> Mauritian newspaper El Express published videos of cars drifting down roads that look more like rushing rivers in the capital, Port Louis and other parts of the island. Some people climb onto roofs of their cars and held on, according to images published by El Express. Motorists who fled the car were seen being pulled out of the floodwaters and taken to safety by other people. Vehicles were left piled up, some overturned, after some of the floodwaters receded. Water also entered buildings and flooded homes and office lobbies. The central bank of Mauritius building was reportedly flooded. Evacuations are underway, the government said in a statement. Belal also earlier hit the French island of Reunion, where heavy rain and strong winds left about a quarter of households without power after hitting it early Monday, according to Reunion Prefecture. Many people in Reunion also lost internet and telephone service and water connections to tens of thousands of homes were cut. Reunion had declared its highest level of hurricane alert on Sunday as Belal approached, but the warning was lifted after the worst of the storm passed Reunion on Monday afternoon and moved towards Mauritius about 220 kilometers or 135 miles to the northeast.
but residents were urged to stay sheltered indoors in heavy rain and winds of up to 170 km per hour or 105 miles per hour were expected to continue blowing on the island of around 860,000 people. The Mauritius National Crisis Committee ordered everyone by return home by 8 p.m. local time. The curfew will remain in effect until Tuesday afternoon. Mauritius National Meteorological Department said the center of the storm was still expected to approach Mauritius and pass about 90 kilometers or 55 miles south of the island as its closest point on Tuesday morning, warning that the worst was still to come. Cyclones are common between January and March in the Indian Ocean near Southern Africa when the seas in the Southern Hemisphere reach their hottest temperatures. The hotter water is the cyclone's fuel. Scientists say human-caused climate change has exacerbated extreme weather, making hurricanes more common and rainier when they do occur. Some climate scientists have identified a direct link between global warming and the intensity of some cyclones in the regions. In 2019, Cyclone Idai hit Africa from the Indian Ocean, causing more than 1,000 people to lose their life in Mozambique, Malawi, and Zimbabwe, and causing a humanitarian crisis. The UN says it is one of the deadliest storms ever to hit the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> 